As we learn to live safely with COVID-19, St. Lucia has integrated the management into the healthcare system. This means that most clinical care for COVID-19 can be readily accessed within our community wellness centers with the exception of the respiratory clinic and hospital related services for diagnosis or care for COVID-19. Most healthcare services have returned to normal operations at this point. As of October 10, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 29,570 cases of COVID-19 in country with 406 deaths. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 6 per 100,000 population per day with a 9% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 0.7. We continue to register COVID-19 cases daily and we note the reluctance of the public to get tested. So the Ministry of Health is aware that our current cases on records are underreported. Due to the reluctance for testing at this point, we estimate the numbers registered to be much lower than actual figures reported in communities. Both the public and the private sector physicians report significant numbers of persons with respiratory symptoms. Our hospital admissions are low, but we continue to note significant numbers of COVID-19 deaths. The public is advised to continue to take personal responsibility to reduce the transmission of COVID-19, especially those with underlying health conditions. The use of the face mask remains relevant and effective in reducing transmission. On July 23, 2022, the director of the World Health Organization declared the outbreak of monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern. This declaration came with detailed recommendations for countries to prevent, reduce, and limit monkeypox transmission. We note an overall decline in cases globally due to the decline in monkeypox cases in the regions of Europe and the Americas. To date, we have tested a total of 16 monkeypox suspect cases, which are all negative. To date, monkeypox has not been confirmed in St. Lucia. The Department of Health and Wellness continues to receive reports of cases of hand, foot and mouth disease from healthcare providers and preschools on island. Cases of hand, foot and mouth disease are recorded annually in St. Lucia and early interventions usually limit transmission. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is a contagious illness caused by different viruses. It affects infants and children younger than five years old. However, older children and adults are also susceptible. The main symptoms include fever, soft throat, painful mouth sores, blisters on the palms of the hands, soles of the feet, and other areas. The public and preschools are reminded to take the recommended preventative disinfection and sanitary measures to reduce the spread and control the outbreak. Persons who suspect they may have this or note symptoms in their children are advised to visit the nearest medical care facility. More information on these diseases of concern at this point will be provided in further updates.